Hello again, this is Jeff with Shoreline Crafts back with another video. wanted to take you all on a journey of how I learned to laser engrave onto cheap ceramic bathroom tiles and color fill them in with Sharpies. So come along and I'll show you what I've done. Alright, I'm at the uh, Frisco Makerspace at the uh, Frisco Public Library. I'm about to use their uh, full spectrum laser which is a, I think it's like a 30 watt-ish uh, maybe 40 watt full spectrum laser co2 laser uh, i'm going to try cutting this cat design into this uh, ceramic tile with the co2 laser and estimated time should be about four minutes so let's uh, click start and see what happens completed you're having a couple of issues with the printer changing IP addresses, but here's the cat design. Looks pretty solid. Yeah, I'd say that definitely engraved on there, that's for sure. It's pretty intricate. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. We'll see how it looks after I colored it on with Sharpie. It looks like this job just finished. Let's see what this one is. This one is the dog. So, you know, bring it over to the light a little bit. Mm, you can, you can kind of see it in the reflection. There it is. That's a little bit better. Yeah, so that's like a golden retriever dog. All right, so I just got back from the Frisco Public Library Makerspace after using their CO2 laser to engrave these cheap bathroom tiles. So phase one is complete. I'll show you the detail here with the light on. It's easier to see when there's a, a light and a reflection. So here's the cat, crow, dog, fox, and over here we have the hare, this is a magpie, kind of like a small songbird, this is the owl, we have a rat, and then last two are spider and toad. So this is phase one complete. Uh, I'm going to clean them up, maybe with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just to get, you know, dirt and dust off, whatever. And then phase two is to color them with Sharpies and then wipe off the excess so that the ink from the Sharpies goes into the glazed, uh, the unglazed area that the laser removed. And then you can wipe the Sharpie off of the glazed area of the tile. So it'll be like a color fill. And we'll show you what that looks like when we're all done with that. All right, so Shannon um, <clears throat> colored in one of the cats with some Sharpie. And now Mama and Shannon are wiping away the Sharpie from the glazed portion of the ceramic tile. And the ink from the Sharpie markers will stay on the part of the tile where the glazing was removed by the laser. And it's gonna leave the pattern of the cat in the colors that she chose to uh, color it in as. Oh, that's pretty quick and easy. Yeah, and you can see, you can see the scratch really good on the video. See that scratch coming from like the uh, cat's shoulder? That's why this is a spare one. Those are some real good colors you chose. Pink, purple, blue. Oh, it's real good, huh? Nice. And then can you uh, show, yeah, can you show them the other one you did, Shannon, with the crow? Yeah. yeah, here's the other one with the crow. Nice. All right. These coasters are finally done. I ended up redoing them. I originally started off with the vector cut, and I decided that I wanted to try again with the raster. And I tried at 1,000 DPI, and the detail is much, much better. The detail on these uh, coasters is much finer now. I've applied a clear coat, and all I need to do now is stick these little bumpers on the bottom of these tiles to turn them into coasters. So I think uh, that was a pretty good experiment, uh, trying out the full spectrum laser at the Frisco Public Library. I got 10 uh, Sharpie color-filled uh, coasters out of them.